Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs>
shout out to Orbit on Instagram. I follow them and I love just the quality of sci-fi and fantasy books that they publish. It is, it's amazing. I remember seeing a post about Jade City and the second book, I forgot the name of it, but it was on their Instagram and I was like, oh, what's that? So I looked it up and I was like, how have I not heard of this yet? How have I not read this yet? And so I immediately, this was a couple months ago and I like immediately purchased Jade City. So this has been described as like the godfather, but with magic on this island of Kakan's fantastical world, Jade is the lifeblood of of the island is traded, it's mined. And so we have this family named the Call family who has used Jade as a way to kind of enhance their magical abilities. But pretty soon everybody wants to get their hands on this and it just becomes, it becomes a hot thing. And soon a neighbor, a rivaling family rises up and they start challenging the Call family. And we just have all out war between these two families. It sounds so good and gritty and just like this underground, like, mobby type of feel to it. I cannot wait to read this. I'm really looking forward to it. And if it's good, I'm going right to booktube. And then finally, I think I saved the most interesting one for last. This is one that I, even though I'm really looking forward to all of those, this one right here just sounds like something I think I will really, really enjoy. And that is Famous Men Who Never Lived. And this is by Kay Chess. And so in this, this is a science fiction novel. And in this, we have this woman named Hell and she flees an alternate United States that has been devastated by nuclear war. And so she flees that alternate world and she ends up in a version of our world and along with a lot of other refugees from that alternate timeline. And I mean, it's just, it's culture shock. Everything is different, but a lot of the refugees that have fled and are now in our world, they try to assimilate. And Hell is like, you know, I can't, I can't do it. Like nothing is the same. And so Hell really takes it upon herself to try to preserve the culture of the alternate United States that she left. And so in that world, in her old world, there is this science fiction novel named The Pyronauts that is just a big deal. Everybody loves it. It is praised, well loved. But in our world, it's a very unknown kind of thing. And so Hell takes it upon herself to not only preserve the Pyronauts, which was so huge in her world, but also preserve a lot of the other little elements of her of her past, essentially. And she just gets a lot of pushback, a lot of resistance for it. And it sounds like a really explosive conclusion to this book. So I, I cannot wait to read this. I'm truly looking forward to this one. So we'll see how it goes. That's it for me, you guys. These are all of the books I will be making my way through in the month of January. I kept it pretty small this time. I just... I'm just taking my time this year. I'm enjoying it. I've already read one book, Thunderhead, which I finished and just keeping things a little manageable. I'm really excited for this month and excited for the great things that I could be reading this year. So um, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.